this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Our reporters have confirmed rumored sightings of unidentified flying objects over Metro City. Stay tuned for more coverage with exclusive film later tonight. We now return to our regular program. Uncle Gadget, can we go out and look? I should say not. It's past your bedtime. But can't we just go take a Sorry look? Sorry about that, Penny, but you do have school tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Uncle Gadget. Good night, Penny. <laughs> Flying saucers, men from Mars. Ridiculous. But it wouldn't hurt to take a look, would it? Just think, Brain. The world's greatest inspector and his faithful friend. If there were Martians, we'd certainly be the ones to find them. Not interested? Fine. I'll just go by myself. Take care of Penny Brain. I'll only be gone a few minutes. What is it, Brain? Where's Uncle Gadget going? Martian hunting? Quick, Brain, go with him. You never know what might happen with Uncle Gadget. Let me down. Now I'll prove to you that Martians are just an image of your figma. Uh, a figma of your sensation. Well, you know what I mean. There are no such things as real Martians. Ah, my phony Martians will loot all of Metro City while I personally eliminate Gadget forever. <laughs> That fellow behind us is coming up awfully fast, Brain. The way is clear. He can go around me. <laughs> now, I'll just aim the laser. Now it's time to get serious. <laughs> Goodbye, Gadget. Two can play at that game. He's coming back. Isn't that typical? They drive like maniacs, and then they don't know where they're going. He probably wants directions. How do I open the window? Ah, maybe this'll do it. Ah, this must be it. Here's one for the road, Gadget. I feel like singing. Running in a row. I said I feel like singing. Now I need a complete overhaul. Help me open this window, Brain. I have something to say to that inconsiderate... Hello. Oh, uh, hello, Chief. Uh, what can I do for you? Right. Well, we'll be there as soon as we can. Chief Quimby said he'd meet me here. I think he's disguised as a dog. He said something about bark. Gadget, where have you been? Chief, this is no time to be catching up on your gardening. Never mind. Read this. Major mad operations in area. Investigate possible connections to UFO scare. Don't worry, Chief, I'm way ahead of you. I've already started my investigation. This message will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Not there, Gadget. I'm standing in water. It's a little early for decorating your Christmas tree, isn't it, Chief? This is ridiculous. An entire city leaves town because of a few Martians, and we all know there's no such thing as Martians. 
Wowzers! What happened to you? Wait a minute. Something tells me you're a Martian. Hold it right there, Martian, or whatever you are. You're under arrest. Go, go, gadget neck. Now enough of this silliness. Show me your identification. Gadget. I thought I finished him with my mad mobile lasers. That stupid gadget is nosing around. Stop him. Right, boss. Who has a 0037B? Uh, what? The pen. Good. We'll try plan 4236. Plan what? Oh, never mind. Just follow me. You can't be a Martian. I don't believe in Martians. You must be from Venus or someplace. Aren't you Inspector Gadget? As a matter of fact, I am. I'm your biggest fan. Could I have your autograph? By certainly. Me too. Inspector Gadget? Wow! Could I have your autograph? This is so exciting. Oh, hero. How wonderful. Gentlemen, I'm honored. <laughs> One at a time, please. You're all out of chance. I've just received word that the school is closing until we have more news about this alien scare. Penny, are you listening? Oh, y yes, Miss Smith. Now everyone go directly home. Be careful, and don't stroll in the streets. You know, this is really quite an honor. It's always nice to know that your work is appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I can always take a few minutes for fellow law officers. Hey. Hey, you forgot your pen. Hey, you forgot your pen. Wait a second. Where's my Venusian? He stole my dog! What's that strange sound? Martians are phony. They're really mad 
agents. Bring Uncle Gadget here and be careful. Hmm. Come out, Venusian. I know you're in there. Wowzers. That's the car that almost ran me off the road. No one gets away from Gadget. I'll just wait right here until the maniac who was driving this shows up. You get a lecture on auto safety, he'll never forget. What? So, there you are. What's the idea of running off like that? Is this your vehicle? You're lucky, because if it was, you'd be guilty of a very serious crime. You just can't park anywhere on this planet, you know. We have laws. Trying to pull my leg, eh? Well, that's another thing you can't do. You could be arrested. You don't want that, do you? <coughs> then leave me alone. I'm not moving until I have a talk with this vehicle's owner. <coughs> Agents, report. We're almost finished with the jewelry stores. The banks will take a little longer. Then hurry up. When they figure this one out, every policeman in the country will be down here. <laughs> oh, stay back. here that everyone must live by. Don't bug us, Earthling. We're in a hurry. That does it. My name is Gadget. You're both under arrest. Take me to your leader. Did you say Gadget? The one and only. Now do as you're told and take me to your leader. If you want to see the boss, we'll take you to see the boss. <laughs> of yours. There are things you can do and things that you can't do on this planet. It's very important for everyone to play by the rules. Oof. <coughs> this must be some kind of waiting room. Thanks for the ride, boys. Tell your leader I don't want to wait too long. At least they could have left me a magazine. Brain, we've got to find my computer book. It's the only way we can stop these guys. Oh. It's time to go. The spaceship can't hold any more valuables. Right, boss. 
little visit to Earth has been very profitable. <laughs> Restricted zone. Where's your badge? <laughs> hey, what's with that guy? Hey, get that dog. <laughs> Brain. Now let's go find Uncle Gadget. Do you feel that? Brain, we're moving. I've got an idea. Just how long does he expect me to wait? What's he doing in there anyway? Curling his antenna! It's just as I thought, Brain. He's driving on a rangefinder map. If we scramble his signal, we can feed him another map through my computer book. He'll take us right to police headquarters. Give me a hand. Now, we'll just scramble his receiver so Claw can't tell him what he's doing wrong. Huh? And now, we'll give him a driving lesson. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you won't come out, I'm coming in after you. Go, go, gadget skates. Oh. Oh. I want to talk to you. What a mess. The police station. Stand firm, boys. Yeah! This saucer has a real Martian in it. Wait! be friends! Congratulations, Gadget. Great job. Maybe this time, Gadget. Next time, I'll take care of you myself. Chief, there was really nothing to it. Sure, the Venusians were unfriendly, even rude. <laughs> but once they knew who I was, they treated me like a prince. <laughs> <laughs> You were wonderful, Uncle Gadget. I knew it from the start, Penny. There are no such things as Martians. Those people were from Venus. You could also say that I was very lucky, Penny. How's that? Roller skates can be dangerous things. I was taking a big chance not wearing knee and elbow pads. Everyone should remember to wear the proper safety equipment, whether they're working or participating in sports. 
Eyeglasses with plastic safety lenses and protective eye goggles. And safety helmets are especially important. Whoa! Uncle Gadget? And be sure to put them away when you're finished with them.